So I have a newest addition. This is a buoy A0. It's made by Polyform. And I got this because it'll help allow athletes to slip punches. It's the size of a human head and it weighs uh, two pounds heavier. It's 13 pounds roughly. Human head is uh, average 11 pounds. And it's, re it's about the size of a human head. Um, and it swings and you know, it's a, it's a real nice addition. I use a line from uh, for, for a docking line, it could uh, sustain about 3,000 pounds, so it's a nice solid line. And this thing, you could slip, you catch a little uppercut that is coming towards you, move around. Good, good for head hunting and sharpshooting, uh, tightening up some of the, uh, the accuracy of punches. Um, you know, as athletes' skills develop and they become more perfect, you know, you can never be perfect all the way, but you could uh, strive for perfection. And this is one of those things that help with sharpshooting. Um, if you have any questions about this bag, ask in the comment section down below and subscribe. It's filled kind of like the same as the others. And, um, you know, but this one is, is really stiff. It really doesn't compress like like this. Have a this one, this A5 have a little bit of give. This doesn't have any give at all because it's so light already that it just the weight is just pushed. So there's nothing for it to compress into. Um, if you have, again, if you have any questions, ask it in the comment section down below. Subscribe and look for more updates as I make tweaks and changes uh, to all of this. Again, this is all of bags. This should be complete. I don't think I'll be adding any more water uh, bag alternatives. Uh, I want to see how these go because uh, overall, you know, they came for about $1,500 um, plus, you know, including shipping and whatnot. So, and then of course the hardware at the top to hold it in place. So hopefully we can get at least five or six years out of these bags. I uh, will do another video once I do some research and or, on maintaining these bags as far as keeping them clean, keeping them subtle. I did another previous video on keeping it clean, which you got to do on a daily basis. But I will, I didn't, right now I just basically use soap and water to wipe it down. I will find something that's more appropriate to use to keep these, uh, the plastic, the PVC more supple over time. Y'all have a good day.